my Kvet. <laughs> I love this hat. That's Robert's favorite hat. You know, Robert is a veteran. And when we go to the VA, he likes to buy a new hat. So, Robert, this is his newest hat. He's had it a few months, but um, I love it. If you love your freedom, think of it. Ain't that the truth? So, Robert was in the military for over 11 years. And when he was in the military, he was in the Air Force. And he worked on airplanes. And um, when he was working on airplanes, he uh, repaired the injection seats. So that's what he was in charge of. And he was real proud of that. And he took high pride in it because he knew when those, ship, those planes were in the war that when those guys need to evacuate and eject out of those airplanes, it was very important for that seat to work. So think of it. And you know what else they say? Blow on your wine and they'll think your tea is hot. <laughs> That's funny, right? So I'm going to tell y'all, on my last video, and I got all that 25 cent uh, food and candy, I got one that I want to share with y'all. And I want to tell y'all right now, this right here, I've never had before. I got this for a penny because it is a fall product and it pennied when the fall stuff did. And I found it when I was looking for the 25 cent Christmas. And I want to tell you what, this stuff right here is good. I can't wait. And y'all remind me, next Thanksgiving, next fall, when the fall stuff comes out, y'all remind me, don't forget about the cinnamon cream Worthers, because if you hadn't tried those, you should try them. I'm thinking about seeing if I can find some on the internet and ordering them just so I can get some to the house. I don't think probably even Amazon would have something like that after the season. I don't know. But anyway, I want to tell you what else was good. This right here. This is excellent. Now I'm going to tell you, I already told y'all that my mom and dad made peanut brittle every Christmas. Not when I was a kid, but as an adult. They made it in the microwave. And I want to tell you what, it was good. And this right here, this reminds me of the peanut brittle that my mom and dad made. And I'm going to tell you, it is delicious. Look at all that in there. Don't that just make you hungry? But, y'all get you some of this. This is 25 cents. And, I think come Tuesday, I don't know for sure because it's too early. But, I'm pretty sure it's going to go straight from a quarter to a penny. I don't know for sure. That's just a rumor. But, we're going to have to wait and see on that. But today is Friday, and we're going to have a comment call. So I want to um, thank everybody. Oh, I got some really news. This morning when I got up, the first thing I do every morning is... I go to Facebook and scroll around, and I go to the Dollar General, and I check coupons and stuff like that. And this morning, when I was on the Dollar General app, I noticed that there was an update on it. Revision change. Um, so Dollar General tweaked it, and everything is still the same. But now, on my tablet, it updated automatically. But on my phone, now this is Robert's phone, not my phone. But on my phone, it didn't update. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to uninstall it on my phone and then reinstall it to get the new update. Or I'm just going to wait and see if um, it automatically updates on my phone. But it automatically did on my tablet, but not on my phone. So my tablet's updated with the Dollar General app, got the new one. 
my phone is not so I don't know if your phone's not might uninstall it and reinstall it see if you get the new app but the only thing I'm noticing is that uh, the list you know that we scan food and stuff at the Dollar General we add it to our list so that we can um, watch it so when it pennies and stuff or if it goes half price for remodels so um, the list now is under the account tap on the account at the bottom of the Dollar General app and you'll find the list under there and you can still scan and add things to it or monitor it for uh, pennies or remodels and then the coupons are under what they call the wallet so tap on the wallet and your coupons are under there so um, that's all I saw that's new on it uh, so all of my stuff that I put in my list it's still there so even though they changed the app and updated it my list is still there so let's get into some of these comments I'm so excited I love when y'all comment and I always tell you be sure and comment below so uh, Jennifer Stomberger she's still campaigning for my new iPhone thank you thank you Jennifer I love you for that and then Shauna Gatiss great haul Miss Peggy I just love watching you well thank you Shauna I love that you comment and I love that you watch my videos but you know I try to get all the deals on my videos so y'all can see them because I love the visuals better than I do just the penny list and stuff so uh, I tried to get everything that I possibly could find for a quarter and so you can have those visuals and you can go see if you can find some of those now there was some things that I had uh, looked for that I couldn't find but you know some things are at some stores and some are not at some stores so you just have to look but I do know that I didn't know uh, Tuesday when I went penny shopping for all that quarter stuff I didn't know that they had 25 cent flowers now you know Miss Peggy loves her some flowers and so I guess I'm not gonna be going back till Tuesday so Tuesday coming up I'm gonna be scanning me some flowers because some of those flowers are um, penny I mean are a quarter with with this Christmas stuff and they've got green tags on them and I'm not sure exactly what the tag says but just scan some of them flowers because they're basically uh, winter colors so look for the winter colors so um, Pamela Brooks Pamela Brooks man Miss Pamela she's been sending me a whole lot of stuff and I thank you for that Pamela you're so sweet and now I know your name and I'm gonna be looking for you from now on but um, Pamela says Miss Peggy you hit the jackpot I sure did and I'll tell you what I want to thank y'all for the Christmas money that y'all sent me and all those Christmas cards and stuff because I did I used that money y'all sent me to get all those 25 cent uh, food items and Christmas items so I could show them to y'all so thank you y'all helped me help y'all so that worked out for both of us so I love y'all for that so May Ray Hey, Miss Peggy, I'll be sending you the box of cards soon. i just been so busy with work. So sorry. May, that's okay. Don't don't worry about stressing over that. I'm going to be here. I'm not moving. I've been here for, I want to tell y'all, but I've been here almost 50 years. <laughs> I moved into this house when I was in my 20s, and I have never lived anywhere else. So I've been lucky like that, so... I bought, bought a house in my 20s, and I got it paid off in my 50s. So, that's good. So, thank you, May, and I'll be looking for those cards whenever you get a chance to send them. And then Jennifer Stomberger is campaigning, my, campaigning for my new iPhone again. Thank you, Jennifer. And C. Chambers, Miss Peggy. I found one of those green vases, the long silver one that had round shape, and that you, one that you have, and I was so happy. Thank you for sharing. Well, you're welcome, uh, C, because that's why I do it, so that y'all can see what I get, because I love penny shopping, and 
I know y'all love it too. So I think the more we work together on penny shopping and visuals, the better each of us is at penny shopping. Y'all see something and get it for a penny. I don't see it. I see yours. Then I, I know to go look for it. So speaking of that, I want to tell y'all, I'm not going to get into no drama or nothing, but I have seen where people getting kind of pissy about their pictures and stuff, which that's their business. But I want to tell y'all, Miss Peggy on her pennies, pennies, pennies group that I always ask y'all to follow, if I can find my paper, if I post anything on this group, or in my YouTube channel, and it's a visual of something that's going to be a penny, you can take it. You can copy it. You can share it. You can give it to whoever you want to. I don't care if it's got a, a hologram on it. I don't care if it's got my name across it. I've given you permission to share all the visuals that you can get from Miss Peggy with everybody else because that's the purpose of us sharing the penny list with y'all. So if I give it to you, I'm not going to sit here and tell you don't share it with nobody and don't tell nobody. You share it. I'm sharing it. We all share it. And that's the way it is. So Miss Peggy's channel, Miss Peggy's page, share them. Share them. Share them. I'm a Christian. I believe in courtesy. I believe in niceness. But I believe in sharing. And I don't believe that anything that's on the internet belongs to anybody. Because if it's on the internet, it's public. Period. I don't care where you're at on the internet. If you have Wi-Fi that people connect to to see your stuff, it is free for the public. So, that's all I got to say about it. I'm not going to say no more. So, I messed up my comments because of that. But anyway, thank you so much, uh, C. Chambers. And then Heather Fling. I like that name. I used to have a best friend named Heather, and she passed away before we were 40 years old. And I love that name. So, the 28th of December was my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Heather Fling. Uh, December the 28th. You know, my son's birthday's in December, so I'm kind of fond of birthdays in December. His is right before Christmas, and yours is right after Christmas. So, we have some thankfulness for birthdays in December. Okay, so Kathy McKittrick. McKittrick? You found the mother load at your stores. Uh, there is not any anything much t to get here in South Carolina and ha have not been. I'm happy for you. Well, thank you, Kathy. And I'm sorry that you didn't find very much. But um, sometimes I don't find anything either. Like those beans that y'all got last week. I didn't find one bag of those beans. And I wanted those beans so bad. I went to three stores on Sunday looking for them. So I'd make sure which store they'd be at. And they weren't. And then I looked again at 14 stores on on Tuesday. And I didn't get no beans. So, you know, Kathy, that's the way it is. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you don't. But, um, and then um, Jennifer Stomberger. She's watching the Michael's Grab Bag. That was from last year. She's really helping me watching all of my old videos. So, Jennifer Stomberger, thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyway, that video you just watched remind me I just missed the Michael's Grab Bags. I've been so sidetracked on everything else going on around here. I forgot to pay attention when that came up. So, I apologize. I always love to do the grab bags at Michael's, and I didn't get to this time, but I'm going to wait, and I'm going to check and see if I can't get them. I, you know, this is January, and I thought they did them closer to March or April, because I don't remember going out in the cold to get my grab bags, but anyway, 
Melissa Phillips. I got five bags, but no salsa. Well, five bags of what? I got five bags, but no salsa. Well, I'm glad you got the five bags anyway. Whatever is in those bags. But, you see, Tammy Peel. I got a lot of turkey gravy. I did too, and I think that's so good because Robert and I eat gravy a lot because we have uh, dinner and we eat gravy with our dinner a lot. So that really is going to come in handy, and I really hope I'm going to find some more on Tuesday when I go back out. When And I'm thinking that this stuff might penny uh, this week. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's going to go to 10 cents, but it, it might. So I'm still waiting to see on that. But anyway, we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> and um, Jennifer Stomberger, Miss Peggy Smiles. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. You keep up the good work. I love you for that. And then Kitty Cat. Hello, Miss Peggy. I haven't been on for a while. I've missed you. Thanks for always being, bringing us to the Dollar General deals. And thanks for all your hard work. Well, you're welcome, Kitty. And you know, I did that one uh, video in the store last week or week before last and my phone just doesn't do good and it is so hard for me to get stuff out of my phone because I don't have any app space so I can't do it on my phone. I have to get it out of my phone and do it on my tablet. So it's just a pain in the neck. So I'm going to still, I'm going to get me a phone that I can do that with and then I can record in the store and stuff and it's not so hard for me to get it out. And even the video that I made uh, in here uh, on my phone so that I could use my tablet um, for whatever I was doing. That video just looks terrible. It's like half the screen at the bottom is just something else in the top half and then the words don't match my voice. So that phone's no good. Okay, there's Jennifer again. Peggy's pennies. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. And LJ Stone Company. I like that. I'm going to have to check that out. That sounds like a business right there. Great video, Peggy. Thank you. And Pauline Hignett. Happy for you, Peggy. Love your penny haul. Love the way you throw the bags away. You don't have... Say, so we don't have what you have in our stores, but I do enjoy watching you. Our Christmas stuff is 50% off. They don't have winter clothing 50% off. I got some hats and thermals for four dollars instead of eight. I love the way you share. Well, if you got hats and thermals at half price and fifty percent off, you might check that might be a remodel coming up because um, thermals and hats usually don't go fifty percent off unless there's a remodel coming up. So check on that, Pauline. And Jennifer Smith, so I love, love, love watching you. I'm not sleepy at work anymore. Thank you for putting pep in my step. <laughs> A step or two on the way home from work, perhaps. Thanks, Peg. Well, you're welcome, Jennifer. And um, thank you for calling me Peg. You know, my daddy used to call me Peg. Either Peg or Peggy Sue. But thank you so much, Jennifer. And then um, Sharon Robinson. Thank you so much. Question F21 flowers are a quarter. Do you think they will penny soon? Yes, I do. They will penny. I just don't know if they're going to go to 10 cents before they go to a penny. Because usually things just go like 50% off, 70% off, 90% off, then a penny. But we're dealing with this 25 cent stuff for Christmas and it doesn't follow the same pattern. It doesn't go the 50 percent off stuff. It just goes 25 cents and then maybe 10 cents in a penny. So I'm not sure on if it goes 10 cents or just to the penny yet. So I'm still waiting to find out about that, Dina. Stacy, I mean. Um... 
No, that was Sharon. Okay, but I'm going to be looking for me some flyers. I guarantee you that. And I saw somebody in one of my comments said they sold some of their flyers to a florist. So if I get a lot more flowers and stuff, I'm thinking I might contact the florist and see if they can uh, take some of them off my hands and make me some penny shopping money. <laughs> so thank you for that comment because I did see it. And then Stacy Lynn, love to watch your videos, Miss Peggy. You give us the clues on the items to look for that's in the clearance are pennied and have awesome visuals. The red uniform statue is called a nutcracker. I hope I can find some of the food stuff. Well, I hope you can too, Stacy. And you know, when I held that nutcracker up, I knew it was a nutcracker, but my mind went blank. I couldn't even think of that word. But yeah, thank you for that. But it was a nutcracker. <laughs> And Dina Morris. Hello, Dina. Nice finds. Love, I also got two of those tall gray vases. I got a giant candle holder. I thought I thought was a vase, but actually broke it on the way home. Aw. You know, I broke one of my, um, one of these uh, candles. Actually, I broke both of them. The one on this end was broken. The one on this end was broken. I didn't even know it. So, I don't know. Somehow, packing them in the car from store to store, I did break one too. So, sometimes that happens, Dina. But, yeah, she put it in the trunk. So, coconut milk is good in smoothies. Pinterest has some good recipes. Yesterday wore me out. <laughs> Laugh out loud. It wore me out too, uh, Dina. When I got home Tuesday from shopping, I had shopped for six hours, grabbing and pulling and all that, bending. And man, I was sore. I, I felt like I'd been hit by a Mack truck. And so the next day I was back to normal. But I mean, I was tired. My body was, my body was calling uncle. But yeah, that coconut milk, uh, I'm going to look for some of those recipes. Robert is anxious. He's got something in mind he wants to do with that coconut milk. But yeah, I love smoothies and I might make me one of those. Hope you and Robert are having a blessed day. Well, Robert's still asleep and it's like 6.30 in the morning. So I got the door shut and I'm <laughs> here by myself drinking my hot tea, which I pretend was wine. So if you blow on your wine, people will think your tea is hot. <laughs> so put it in a coffee cup, nobody will know. <laughs> so Irene Rex. Employees were pulling the air care when I walked in, so I quickly headed to the end cap and got 15 air cares and candles. My store pulls things before Penny. Well, Irene, you good on you. I would have done the same thing. I'd have headed right toward that end cap where I knew they were before they get there because sometimes I get there before they get there too, and they're always disappointed. That I And sometimes I pulled it while they're pulling it. And they're standing there right there with me and they're pulling the items and I'm pulling them, putting them in my basket and they're pulling them, putting them in their basket. And I've never had a manager tell me I can't take them while they're pulling them. So it's still fair game if it's on the, um, it's on the sales floor, right? <laughs> uh, Brenda Pure 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 Pareto, Pareto, Brenda, hi, hello, Brenda, I know I botched your last name, I'm so sorry, <laughs> say, Jen Lamb, say, great video as always, Miss Peggy, thank you, thank you, Jen, say, Tracy Griffin, Griffin, hey, Mama Peggy, you got a great haul, I have been sick and wasn't able to go shopping, well, you know, Sometimes we don't get to go shopping for any reason. Sometimes I have to go to the doctor's office or something. I don't get to go penny shopping. But, you know, sometimes it just happens like that. And Susan Eubanks, hi, Miss Peggy. And great finds. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So thank you, thank you, Susan. And Renee McFarlane. 
So I got a similar, but mine's it's the huge mirror glass silver candle holder, and I love it. So I had spray painted my lamp several years ago the same color, so I was happy to get it. I thought when I picked picked it up a week ago, it's fifty percent off, but it was seventy percent off and was four dollars, and I was so happy. You did great. Well, thank you. And looks like you did great too, Renee. And Patricia Kiever. Peggy, use that milk in coconut cake is great. You can even add to white cake mix. Well, that's a good tip right there, adding it to cake mix. That's got to be a good flavor. I mean, it can't be anything but good, right? So Cheryl, no. Hey, Cheryl from Florida. How you doing? I like it when you get a big haul, not only because you scored, but because I laugh every time you throw those empty bags over your shoulder. Great video, Miss Peggy. Well, you know, I just do that because I got to get them out of the way, and I didn't realize it was so funny, but I'm glad y'all like it. But at the end of my video, I've got a whole pile of bags all over the floor back there. I got to pick them up. But thank you, Cheryl. I love Cheryl it says I love those sparkly glass vases but if you wanted to you could you can tone them down and paint them a color that matches your room decor well sure that's absolutely and that's a good idea um paint them to match whatever that's right but um yeah I might do that too and then to Oretha, to Oretha, so I found a bunch of candles, renews it, and one popcorn. 20 bags of pinto beans, had some fun today. Need to go out today looking for some peanut brittle. Well, I'm going to tell you, I hope you find some of that peanut brittle because it seemed like there was a lot of that in my stores. Look up around the front. Um, they've got like some island up there, and I found a lot of that up there. So look around the front. But, like I told you, that peanut brittle, that's one of my favorite. Mm. I love me some peanut brittle. I didn't know if this brand was going to be any good. Because, you know, sometimes off brands aren't as good as main brands. But, this is. And the Cheryl says, not sure about the peanut brittle, but the Oreos and the M&Ms can go in the freezer to extend their shelf life. Well, that's absolutely true. And I will be sticking it in the in the freezer before it goes bad. And then Ann M. Love you, Miss Peggy. Thank you, Ann. I love you, too. And then Cheryl Noah again. Pumpkin spice isn't my favorite, but will definitely be great if your lights go out my favorite is cinnamon apple well you're right cinnamon spice isn't my favorite either but i do like it it smells good and you're right i've got a whole box of candles over here not that i don't have a whole closet full of candles in the hall in there and in the top of my hall closet i got a box of stick candles that you that stand up straight the stick candles i got a whole box of those that i've had up there for emergencies for a long time so i've got candles all over this place so candles do come in handy when there's a power outage and then you'll be smelling good at the same time so c chambers it's a great haul um miss peggy i went to only one dollar general yesterday and i started using the app to see if items were a quarter and they were still ringing up 50 cents i picked up two dollars worth of items brought it to the register and they were ringing up 25 cents i was on the right location and the <coughs> and the right store before so i ended up going back searching the whole store and i got a cart full of the glade plug-ins the refills the candles all different scents Febreze was melts, Febreze uh, melts and sprays and a bunch of renews it cones. Was so happy. I used my digital coupons for overages. Thank you for sharing your deal. I would love to find the 
Ghirardelli chocolates, those are my faves, especially the plain milk chocolates. You know, those Ghirardellis, I don't care what kind they are, they're good. And those are kind of Robert's favorite too. He loves those. So, so yeah, see. And then Cheryl No, she's on a roll. They say, wow, you found a lot of vases for your penny flowers. Yes, I did, Cheryl. Yes, I did. And I'm be using them for that. And Cheryl also said, "Good morning, Miss Peggy. Glad you found some salsa. I love salsa. And you know, Miss Cheryl is the one that texted me while I was at the Dollar General scanning for all of that 25 cent food, and popped up a message on my screen that told me about the salsa, the surprise penny salsa. So thank you, thank you, Cheryl." I got five jars of that, and I'm so thankful for it. Very thankful. And you know, I didn't tell you in the video, but when I went to that store, it's my number one store. I know that manager very well, and she never, ever complains about me having penny items. She's never said she gets in trouble. She always is real glad that I get them. And so that's why I don't believe that they get in trouble for them. But... Um, when I brought that salsa up to the register, I had already been in there and bought some Christmas stuff and some of the uh, 25 cent food. And so when Cheryl texted me at another store, I went back over there. And when I found that salsa and was checking out, she was ringing me up. And she's like, well, I'm so glad that you uh, looked up that salsa and came back. And I was like, okay. And she goes, because I cannot return the salsa to the store. I cannot uh, package it up and return it. She said, anything in glass, we have to throw it in the trash. So she said she didn't pull it and she left it there and uh, was hoping that I would come. So thank you, thank you. And I thanked her, thanked her. She said, um, she has told me before, if it's penny items and it's food, she lives in, we live in such a poor neighborhood that uh, she doesn't pull it because she knows that it helps the neighborhood. And when people get it, um, it helps them. So she does help like that. So thank you. Thank you for that. So uh, Deanna Tucson. Good morning, Peggy. I'd like to watch your video again. I was good. I forgot about some of the things that you showed, so you're probably, so you're absolutely right. Watching somebody's video helps you remember what to look for and what you do. And besides that, little wood, wooden guy that you showed is a nutcracker. <laughs> God bless you and Robert. Happy New Year. Um, thank you for that. And yeah, my mind just goes blank sometimes, and I hate that. I hate that. Has TV. Wow, Miss Peggy, you did awesome. I got tickled every time you throw those shopping bags the same. Bless you and Robert. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of comments about me throwing them bags. I never would have thought that. And then, good morning from Sharice Gadsden. I would love to find some vases. Yeah, now I'm wondering where I'm going to put those vases. But I got them. Deborah Johnston. Say, God bless that manager for having such a good heart because not too many of them do. Well, that's true. That is absolutely true. And she does. And Gabby's Goods, great finds. Those are beautiful. I'm sitting, I'm sitting trying to think what's it called. Mercury glass is what I mean, meant to say. I couldn't get it out of my mouth. Mercury glass faces, so adorable. That is cute. Ceramic banana pudding. Yep, that's right. Ceramic banana pudding. I'm going to be putting in that. Um, but yeah, mercury glass. I'm going to remember that because I think it is, you're right, mercury glass. And it is um, a, a type of glass. You have always spray painted the, you can always spray paint the bases if you don't like the glam. Trina Adams. That's true, Trina. That is so true. And let's see, we've been going 34 minutes, so I'm fixing to stop. <coughs> Scissors, Terry, 
Scissors for 25 cents. That's awesome. Terry, oh, I found 14 bags of penny beans at one store. It looked like they may have recently restocked the shelves. Well, I'm going to keep looking for those beans because it's possible that they might stock the shelves with them and they've been in the back or something. So I'm going to keep my eye out for them too. Angelina, wow, great finds. I love everything going to my Dollar General tomorrow. Wish me luck. Well, good luck, Angelina. I hope you did get some. And then Deb Rawlinson. Um, those 10 buckets rang up full price for me. Well, you know, um, they shouldn't have. And, you know, if it says they rang up full price, but um, the only reason they would ring up full price is if that Dollar General did not turn off their computers at night. And it didn't reset the next morning. That would be the only reason. So you might go back the next day and see if they turn the registers off and that reset to the quarter. But that's the only reason. And I have gone to a store that that happened to me one time. And that's the only thing that could happen is why they don't penny or change to what the rest of them do. Because they should all be the same. Vanessa Bargain Bish. Um, hey, Miss Peggy, don't throw the pumpkin candle away that the glass cracked on. I had some thing happen to me. I saved my quarter, uh, place it inside a couple of bags for safety purposes. Be careful and remove the remaining glass and other candle and, uh, put it in another glass that's right and i saved mine so i do intend to do that because i did not throw it away i put it in a plastic bag and i put it in there on the dining room table so when i have time to mess with it i will so i'm gonna do one more and then that's it so kc cook good haul today i wasn't feeling good so i didn't go glad you got to go and scored well thank you kc and i'm gonna Apple pecan sows. Lady, you are such a blessing to me. Thank you. I found several deals today. Thank you for sharing. Well, you're welcome, Ca Apple pecan sows. You know, I'm going to go back on here. Some of y'all, I think y'all got YouTube channels, and I'm going to check them out. But y'all don't forget to follow me on this Facebook group and um, keep the prayers coming. Robert's starting to feel a little better. He's having less pain in his prostate area, but he's still having some. But keep praying because we need this pain to go away. So I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you for all the beautiful cards that y'all have sent me. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for all of it. I mean, I just feel so blessed. I don't know how in the world I got this blessed. But I feel so blessed and so loved with all of y'all. And thank you for being part of my family. And thank you for being my friend. So I love y'all, and I'm going to let y'all go. So, adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see you probably Sunday, because I'm hoping we get another penny list. But we might not, because we're still dealing with this Christmas 25 cents off. And then it's got a penny, so we might not get a penny list. But... Cross your fingers and thumbs up that we do. So, bye now. Oh.